Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and um, subscribe, like, share. Um, I've got some pretty good news um, this morning, makes a change. Um, I've just heard that pre um, President Akufo Addo, uh, President of Ghana, he visited Jamaica over the weekend and went to see Prime Minister Andrew Holness and they were discussing the visa waiver agreement between Ghana and Jamaica, which is taking effect on the 1st of July. I think that's a brilliant idea because now, from the 1st of July, Jamaicans can visit Ghana and Ghana can visit Jamaica with no visa. I think it, the maiden flight is going to take about six hours. Uh, which isn't bad, actually. And so, yeah, it's like a Back to Africa initiative. Um, he's saying that it's supposed to bond, it will bond ties. It, let me just read out what he says here, which is, he says, it's, um, President, okay, stressing the importance of Ghana-Jamaica relations, the President said the two nations have an excellent opportunity to build on their strong ties imposed by culture and history so as to derive maximum economic value for their respective populations. And they cannot allow visas to stand in the way of those relations. Um, I think it's a brilliant idea. Prime Minister... Andrew Holness says a waiver agreement is to be implemented between Jamaica and Ghana. Um, he also said the foreign affairs ministers of both countries have been mandated to negotiate and conclude the agreement. Um, it's called the Year of the Return Initiative, Ghana 2019. Um, the Ghanaian president, his full name is Nana Ado Dankwa Akufo Ado but we'll call him President Akufo Adu for now. Um, he arrived in Jamaica Saturday, just gone, the 15th, and stayed until Sunday. While he was there, he visited the leaders of the University of West Indies. He also um, went to the shrine of Marcus Garvey and laid some flowers. Um, yeah, I think it's um, the year of the return of Ghana 2019 is marking 400 years since the first enslaved Africans arriving in Virginia, USA. So um, he says there's no way he's going to allow um, us to go through what we went through before. So he says, you know, that's not the mindset of Africans today. He'd like to deepen trade commercial relationships between both countries, solidify relations between the Caribbean and Africa, it's an opportunity for cooperation in areas such as energy and mining, sport and culture. Not quite sure how um, China factors into all of this. I mean, I know China's invested in both countries, um, so I'm not quite sure about their input in all of this. Um, but I'm not going to put any cloud over this. Um, yeah, I just think it's... A fantastic initiative and um, we look forward to Africans and Caribbeans um, working together and um, yeah building up relations and yeah I think it's fantastic and that's all for now bye bye